so yet again Stuart we're hearing a story about how kind of like networking and and knowing meeting the right people has kind of led led to these kind of uh, outcomes where, where someone ends up working in sport media what's a, a day-to-day sort of look like then you talked about you know you, sometimes you can do high budget videos or other times it's just a case of, of whipping out your phone and catching a, a, a you know a great moment uh on on film uh, what does the sort of a day-to-day look like for the head of marketing for the nottingham forest trust so um i will say organized chaos uh <laughs> <laughs> well i think i think Poss- any role is, i think any role is organized possibly chaos like possibly like a lot of football clubs uh, yeah. <laughs> So for me, I try and plan, like with any marketing department, marketeer, we try and plan, you know, we try and craft our marketing plans, you know, at the end of the year for the next year, and it's all going to go according to plan, but it never happens that way. So um, for me, really, uh, so I I work, um, so I I lead the department, and when I say department, there's two of us, so I have a, a marketing assistant who was only brought on board kind of eight weeks ago so for the first kind of six five to six months it was just me from posting on twitter to writing a strategy or or putting a brief together for a, a high ticket video or a project so the whole remit uh now this person's come on board they then take a lot of that um uh, smaller smaller tasks off me so i try not to go on social media anymore even though i, I still like dipping into it and chucking your tweets out but uh so for me really it's uh we we have so many ongoing projects ongoing events um so making sure that you know we are we are i'm trying to think now <laughs> it, it really is just kind of what i, I make a, a brainstorm list in the morning and just try and, and smash through it 